So hey everyone, today And what I would do is launch additional two of these instances um, just so that we can I can show you guys how uh, load balancers work. This looks right. At launch. Yes, I acknowledge. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, let's go back to EC2 and Let's launch another one. Yo, I acknowledge. So we have two instances waiting to come up. Um, so while we wait for that, I just wanted to show you guys um, the SSM um, how you can have or configure commands that could be run uh, against like fleet of instances so under SSM if you go under documents um, and I already have created one so I can show you guys uh, so it's I just named it Apache server since it installs Apache and if we go under content um, you guys can see it can be JSON or YAML oh uh, I prefer YAML um, and just says what the template is like the description about my template or document that I have here um, and the main steps are that it should run a shell script and I named it like configure Apache and then the commands that are supposed to run are yum update and then it installs uh, the Apache uh, it starts the Apache service and make sure that it is enabled so that if we reboot our instance um, the Apache starts um, and then it also writes um, this text to the index.html uh, which just says hello world this is and this would spit out the IP address or the of the instance so if you go back in here and see that they're initializing I wanted to show you guys that we already have port 80 open to the world so if I copy this and if I paste it here nothing should load up um, just because we don't have Apache running while on um, this instance that I already had running oh, I think I have it open here so you guys can see that it says hello world this is the IP address of the instance and it just shows us that the Apache server is working um, so yeah and let's go ahead and create a target group for our load balancer so if I click create target and instances I'll name this my Apache fleet and yep the protocol will be HTTP or port 80 so my default VPC is selected here and the health check should be HTTP yeah that looks right I'll just change this to 10 seconds so these are health checks um, the cool part about um, the target groups or load balancers is that they would perform a health check on your instance um, so this these are just the thresholds um, for those health checks to be performed um, 
I won't add any tags. So, yep, that looks good. Click next. Oh, as you guys can see, I have three instances here. Um, so I'll select all three of them and I'll create target group. Yep, click continue. So if I open this up, um, can see that we need to register all these three targets. Oh, I see what was the message before, uh, since I think two of our instances are pending. Um, it had that warning that you have instances that were pending. Okay, so I can see that they are not pending anymore. Um, so we can register these instances. Um, you can see the status says unused just because we don't have a load balancer configured yet. Um, so I'll go ahead and create a load balancer. Um, we'll not go with the classic load balancer as AWS suggests to use ALB or the application load balancer. So I'll go ahead and hit create. Um, name this as Apache load balancer yes ipv4 http and then port 80. if i remember correctly all my three instances are in us east 1a which is not good for the uh, like from the architectural point of view um i should have scattered them round AZs but it's for the demo sake so we'll go ahead and then just include US East 1A but if you if I had instances in other subnets or other AZs I would have included those um no I don't need accelerator oh so that's a good thing <laughs> that it notifies you that you need at least two subnets or AZs at least for the load balancer because it's a good practice and if you go to security settings improve your load balancers so yeah that looks right or we could create a new one and i'll name it as apache load oops, balancer TCP and it's open to the world. Looks right. And existing target group. So we'll select our My Apache fl Fleet target group that we created in our last step. And this looks right. I'll check it looks right. So these are all three of my instances. And if we click review, uh, we should be good to create our load balancer here. Okay, successfully created. I close. So it's provisioning now. Um, I'll pause the video and I'll be back uh, once uh, the load balancer is provisioned. A few moments later. As you can guys can see, um, the state of the our load balancer is active now so if we go to target groups and see our instances as we saw that uh, one of them already had apache installed um, so the health check is healthy because it's serving that index.html over port 80 whereas uh, the other two instances they don't have apache installed so it's not getting a 200 response from those two instances so now we can leverage um, SSM uh, to run or install and configure Apache through this document that we had uh, created using YAML um, this can also be done in uh, JSON so if, if I go into my document and click on run command um, it should take me to yeah so 
we are right into the UI and uh, it says it's going to run this. Uh, so you can have different versions of the document that you have. And under targets, um, the cool part is you can specify tags. So um, in my case, I haven't tagged my instances yet, but in like production cases or when you're running multiple instances and you have instances that are tagged as prod or dev, uh, you can run or configure Apache in our case on those instances based on the tag name. So I'll go ahead and click on choose instances manually. And if we go back here, um, we know that our this instance already has Apache installed. So I'll leave this one out and I'll select the other two. Um, I'll leave rest of these settings as default. I don't want an output to be written to S3. Uh, I don't need SNS notifications. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this that you can have like it provides you with a CLI command. You know, let's say if you wanted to run uh, or configure Apache using this SSM document uh, through CLI. So you could use this command and you can so as you can see like SSM CLI is not supported on PowerShell yet but uh, for Linux you can use this. So if we go ahead and click run um, it'll show you the progress and shouldn't take long so okay oh uh, here's a success message so as you guys can see we couldn't load this web page earlier or the other instance uh, now you can see that uh, it loads up fine so this means that our apache has been installed and configured and if i refresh this uh, we should see the health checks to pass um I'll just give it some time. I'll also check the third instance that we had here. I'll copy this and paste the command here. So yeah, that works. All three of them are running. Let's refresh this again. Oh, so there, um, all of our three instances are healthy. So if I go back to my load balancer and this is the DNS name for my load balancer. So, okay. So if I refresh this, uh, we should be uh, taken to another instance. And that is the whole purpose of load balancer. Um, it balances the traffic uh, that it receives and distributes it uh, to its targets. So in our case, those were three instances. So it should toggle between all those three as we refresh this page. So it is working as expected. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is um, if we like want to disable public access uh, to the instance itself, so like direct access to the port 80 of this instance, so that all our clients or customers can only access it through the load balancer um, and cannot access the instances directly. Um, in order to do that, uh, what I would do is go under the security group that is configured on all those three instances. So if I go with the security group and Let's edit the inbound rule um, for the HTTP and remove that. So I just want my load balancer um, to be able to connect to those instances through port 80. So if I select that and hit save rules, and if we go back to EC2, and if I refresh this, it should time out. Oh, so you guys can see that it's trying to load, um, but it'll time out because we have just disabled the access um, to port 80. 
but our load balancer still can access it. Uh, so it's a good practice that uh, customers or clients cannot reach our instances directly. Uh, they need to go through the load balancer. So that was it about this demo. I hope you guys like it and please like and share this video.